Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. And today I want to show you a rotary Western Electric telephone that was sent in by Richard from Florida. Now Richard uh, was able to find this telephone. It's brand new and uh, it is, it's just a beautiful telephone. Um, the, the deal with this telephone is he was able to find this as new old stock because of the fact that it was connected to this cable and Richard already cut this cable uh, from the telephone and um, this is known as uh, 25 pair cable and uh, it went to the old phone systems that they used to have in the old days when they'd have a row of buttons here and uh, there would always be a red one uh, for hold and then you had your different uh, five or six buttons here and um, they were a pretty common phone for a very very long time well this just so happens to be a, a single a line telephone uh, that would go to that system and it had this 25 pair connector for it so not much call for home use and so he was able to find this um, as uh, NOD new old stock or NOS I mean um, and so that's very cool because what we're going to do just like he was going to do is get rid of the 25 pair cable um, and this telephone uh, is brand new basically uh, it is set up for modular on the handset cord and I'll show you that but coming out of the back it does have the uh, the round plug uh, that port that your 25 pair cable would come out of just like a uh, hardwired telephone the handset um, was in the plastic when he sent it and so it's it's basically a brand new phone um, and if it was refurbished or, or whatever uh, it, the handset does is modular but uh, whatever the case may be it's like a brand new phone and uh, so it's kinda like looking back in the past and uh, it's pretty cool so it's it's neat to see this stuff and I have the cover off of it. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. Uh, it's in very good shape. And so uh, there's the case to it. And uh, I'm going to pull the dial up. We have that loose. And underneath, it's not going to look like a regular uh, telephone um, because what they have here is they have all the connections where you would hook up your 25 uh, pair cable and. Uh, I, I noticed some clips that are still on the board that have been snipped from the 25 pair cable and so basically uh, that gives you an ideal of what a telephone looked like now <clears throat> what they would also have if it was a uh, had lines you would have a, a row of buttons here and uh, and you would also have some connections in here just like you see now but uh, this was a single line it was a direct line for 25 pair cable uh, the old systems and so it's really cool to see this um, I'm gonna try to swing this around and um, it's got a basic network in it and your basic uh, the, the bells in these were more like the mini wall bells because of the fact they didn't have the room um, because of everything else that was going on inside of them and this one has more room than than usual because it doesn't have all the buttons up front because it wasn't a multi-line phone and on the back you can see um, it's got the uh, half curved uh, rounded uh, modular port so your line can um, go through the, the back of the phone so it's very cool and uh, I can tell, you know, whether it was reconditioned or, or whatever the situation might be, uh, or if it's just totally original, 
Um, it has the, the older feet style on it, and I'll show you that. The older feet, and there's the, a look at the bottom of the telephone. So it's just it's just like looking at a brand spanking new telephone, basically, um, and and it's really cool that he was able to find this, and uh, I, I assume pretty lucky because uh, people are looking for these things all the time. And here we have a a brand new one, basically, even though it's in the 25 pair cable uh, model. It doesn't really matter because once the phone is closed up and, and converted uh, to a modular plug, you know, with a, a line cord with a modular end, um, it's, it's not going to matter. Nobody's going to really know. And, and who cares? It's a, it's a brand new phone. And um, so that's a little bit of a look at what you can find if you search around. And... Um, there's probably a lot of people wanting to, to try to find what uh, Richard has found here, and I'm not sure if the company or, or where he got it still has any of these left, but uh, it's a pretty neat situation. The phone also came with what I take as, uh, I'm sure it came with it, but uh, I, I don't know that for 100% sure, but it's the wiring diagram, um, and it looks like it came with the telephone. And it's basically showing you uh, all the connections of what it can do, and where you hook up your speaker phone um, and your ringer, your four wire service, uh, the network, everything, your handset, um, and basically the color code for the wiring. Uh, 25 pair cable go by um, color code and um, so anyway, it, it's pretty uh, pretty nice to have the schematic that goes along with it. I'm sure it came with it, but sometimes customers do pull these things off the internet. But I, I'm just assuming that this came with the phone because it's directly related to it and uh, shows all the connections, and and so it's it's really a neat uh, item to have along with the phone, and. Uh, We'll get a uh, modular port installed in this phone. We'll put it inside the telephone so that once the, mod the modular line cord runs out of the back of the phone, uh, if he ever has problem a problem with it down the road, he can simply open the phone and plug in a new black modular line cord, which is cool because he won't have to do any uh, major um, repair to it. He can just simply open it up unplug it and uh, plug a new one in. So that'll all work out just great. And he's already set up for modular here at the handset and uh, at the side of the telephone. And this telephone has, um, since it's a little different than what you're used to seeing for like a home use phone, this is more commercial grade and it has uh, a different type of bell in it and they actually put the, the uh, little bell switch right here so you can go from from off to loud and uh, we'll check all that out make sure the bells wired up and working properly and um, that the rotary gets connected properly and uh, in our line and everything so I, I hope you enjoyed the video um, it's it's great to see this kind of stuff you see it once in a while where it's brand new, new old stock, and uh, it's really cool to see this. So, thank you for watching. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. You can also reach us at 618-235-6959. And Richard from Florida sent this telephone in. Thank you for watching and have a great day.